we all have uh, heard about uh, the lambda sign in uh, dichorionic diamniotic pregnancy in cases uh, uh, when you have twin pregnancies uh, but today i'll be talking about something which we call as black lambda sign right so lambda sign we are all aware uh, most of us must be knowing what is uh, lambda sign uh, which we see in dichorionic diamniotic pregnancy the other name we call is uh, twin uh, peak sign so but then what is this black lambda sign now this is seen in monochorionic diamniotic pregnancy now let us go to it what it is first i'll just talk about the normal twin peak sign or the lambda sign which we all know is seen in dichorionic diamniotic pregnancies where you can see very well there is a protrusion a peak like area or a triangular area here which is seen attached to the separating membrane and this is called the twin peak sign or the lambda sign which we see in cases of dichorionic diamniotic pregnancies obviously it will not be seen in most of more uh, in sorry in all of the dichorionic diamniotic pregnancies it is seen only when the placenta are close together or fused together basically why is this uh, lambda sign formed because in case of dichorionic diamniotic uh, pregnancies we have two chorions and two amnions so the chorion from here the chorion from here amnion from here amnion from here and there is a gap left in between no because the these two membranes are from one placenta these two membranes are from the other placenta they fuse together and in between there is a gap formed in this gap the placental villi grow and that forms the twin peak or the lambda sign now in case of monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies there is single chorion and two amnions so what happens in cases where the chorion and amnion both are fused we usually see a t sign t sign is that the separating membrane will join straight here you no know, like a t so this will be seen in case of monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies now why this happens in case of monochorionic diamniotic why don't we see the twin peak sign because here there is a single chorion and double amnions so the chorion does not allow the placenta to grow out right so this is single chorion and two amnions now we come to the black lambda sign what is this black lambda sign this black lambda sign is also seen in monochorionic diamniotic gestations in this case what happens the um, there are two amniotic sacs we've already talked about this that in monochorionic diamniotic the word itself tells you there's a single chorion and there are two amnions now in many cases when you will see early in pregnancy around 9 10 weeks the amnions may not be fused to the chorions right as a result what happens this is the area of the dark area that you see the extra embryonic coelomeria between the two amniotic sacs is seen as a black area and can you see the shape this is again a black lambda sign why because it looks like lambda similar if i just i have just inverted this picture here to compare it with this one and see here this is the lambda we all know the sign the picture lambda the greek letter lambda i have put it in the slide here no this is lambda and we can see here and then look at this one this is black lambda the lambda is still there but the area in the middle is black why because and why this is formed and what is different from here here because there is a single chorion it is stopping the placental villi from growing into this portion and as a result this area remains black and you see there are well, this is one amnion this is another amnion then this is the separating diamniotic membrane and this is what we call as the black lambda sign so black lambda sign may also may be seen in monochorionic mono uh, sorry monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies now again you can see here so in monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies you may see the t sign or you may sometimes see the black lambda sign importance is that don't confuse this black lambda with this bright lambda or you can call it white lambda white lambda or bright lambda is in is actually the twin peak sign which we see in the dichorionic diamniotic pregnancies and black lambda we see in monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies or the t sign we see again in monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies so thank you so much